Look, today I am giving you the choice between a blessing and a curse. You will be blessed if you obey the commands of the Lord your God that I am giving you today. But you will be cursed if you reject the commands of the Lord your God and turn away from him and worship gods you have not known before. But Samuel replied, What is more pleasing to the Lord, your burnt offerings and sacrifices or your obedience to his voice? Listen, obedience is better than sacrifice and submission is better than offering the fat of rams. Oh, that you had listened to my commands. Then you would have had peace flowing like a gentle river and righteousness rolling over you like waves in the sea. This is what I told them. Obey me and I will be your God and you will be my people. Do everything as I say and all will be well. If you love me, obey my commandments. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my Father will love them. And I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. But Peter and the apostles replied, We must obey God rather than any human authority. And we can be sure that we know him if we obey his commandments. If someone claims, I know God, but doesn't obey God's commandments, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. But those who obey God's word truly show how completely they love him. That is how we know we are living in him. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. And if you follow me and obey my decrees and my commands as your father David did, I will give you a long life. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your gracious spirit lead me forward on a firm footing. Moses called all the people of Israel together and said, Listen carefully, Israel. Hear the decrees and regulations I am giving you today, so you may learn them and obey them. So Moses told the people, You must be careful to obey all the commands of the Lord your God, following his instructions in every detail. Stay on the path that the Lord your God has commanded you to follow. Then you will live long and prosperous lives in the land you are about to enter and occupy. Work willingly at whatever you do as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance as your reward and that the master you are serving is Christ. For the Lord's sake, submit to all human authority, whether the king is head of state or the officials he has appointed. For the king has sent them to punish those who do wrong and to honor those who do right. It is God's will that your honorable lives should silence those ignorant people who make foolish accusations against you. For you are free, yet you are God's slaves. So don't use your freedom as an excuse to do evil. Respect everyone and love the family of believers. Fear God and respect the king. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you that you have a plan for my life. You are my creator and you have created me with a purpose. I confess in faith that your plans for my life are good. In fact, they are the best. There's no other plan that I could come up with myself or that the world could offer me that compares to your plan. I want to walk according to your wisdom and your ways. I want to receive everything you have for me. So I pray that you would help me learn to walk in obedience. Teach me to keep in step with the Holy Spirit. Change my heart more and more each day, that my desires would be conformed with your desires. I want to love the things you love and hate the things you hate. I want to desire what you desire for me. I pray for your Holy Spirit to fill me, that I might be changed and transformed more and more into the image of your Son. In Jesus' name, amen.